Uh, hey, my name is Ty from Momotion. I'd like to talk about bendy bones, which are integrated in Blender since version 2.78. A while ago I created this character here and uh, it's still rigged the old-fashioned way with IK chains and uh, rotational bones in certain areas like the lip region or the eyebrows and I exchanged these regions with bendy bones. Why did I do that? I wanted to see whether it facilitates the posing process, which, uh, whether it makes it faster, and yes, it did. So I'd like to share here how I set up, especially the mouth region, with bendy bones. Okay. Instead of eight control handles, I now have four, and they let me create the same amount of expressions as before, but just faster. On top of translating and rotating, the handles in the mouth corners also control the bending of the upper and lower lip together or independently. So now, how does the lip setup with bendy bones work in detail? First I add a bone and move it to one side in edit mode. I extrude the tailbone parallel to the x-axis and with its tip scaled to zero on X. Meaningful naming while creating the bones comes in handy later when dealing with drivers. I subdivide the big bone and move the joint towards the root along the bone's local Y axis. That small bone to the left is going to be the control handle of the mouth corner. I change the bone display to B bone and segment the middle bone a couple of times. Now, when I swap to pose mode, the middle bone is twisted along its axis. Not good. In order to fix this, back in edit mode, I adjust the tailbone's roll angle by minus 90 degrees. This should do the trick. I move the tailbone slightly downwards along the Z axis. Then I copy middle and tailbone and move the new tailbone slightly upwards on Z. But now in pose mode, I can only rotate but not translate the two tail bones since they are still children of the middle bones. To fix this I unparent the tail bones then in pose mode each middle bone gets a stretch to bone constraint with the according tail bone as the target. Now I can translate and rotate the tail bones which in turn are controlling the middle bones. For the middle bones, I tick Use Custom Handle References in the Bendy Bones tab and select the root and tail bone for the in and out fields. This changes the bone segments to a smooth curve when they are being transformed. For the other side of the mouth, I copy and scale all the bones by minus 1 along X. Again, in pose mode, the segments seem to be twisted, so I play around with the roll angle of the tailbone in edit mode till everything is tidy. I rename all the left side bones accordingly, then I create two more bones which are going to control the upper and lower tailbones of the mouth setup. The tail bones are parented to these new bones. These two control handles together with the mouth corners should not influence the other bones when being scaled. So, in the bone panel, inherit scale needs to be unchecked for the latter ones. Now the whole point of bendy bones is having fewer control handles. So in the next step I'm linking the in and out fields in the middle bones bendy bones tab with the control bones scaling. This way I can translate and rotate the mouth corner and in addition control the curvature of the side slips with scaling the same corner handle. Applying the in and out fields to different scaling axes individually allows separate control over upper and lower lip curvature. For the other side, I copy paste the driver and adjust the according driver settings. So, 
This setup allows to post the entire map with a total of four handles instead of previously eight in the old rig, which makes the whole animation process much more intuitive and yeah, faster in the end. Well, pretty cool. Okay, uh, thanks for watching and I hope this video was helpful or interesting for some of you out there. And yeah, bye.